Hello, friends and enemies. It's me, V, coming at you with guess what? Guess what? I'm coming with you today. That doesn't make any sense. In my head, it makes sense. Anyway, I'm coming at you with another weigh-in. Yes, that's right. Another weigh-in. Veronica goes to Weight Watchers. Now, where we last left off, you're a heroine. Moi. I just finished my spiel about Target and all the things that happened to me at Target. As well as including little tidbits about employees and all that stuff. So anyway, my weight will lost journey. I went today. I had some goods. I had some highs. I had some lows this week. I will say that I've been exercising a hell of a lot more, which has actually been a positive for me. I've also been trying to eat well. If you look at my fitness pal, you'll notice that I have done extremely well, except for today. I will admit today, it was bad. And yeah, you're all going, wait, today? Saturday? No, no, you'll get this Saturday. But when I say today, what I really mean is Friday. Friday was kind of bad. I went to Roundy's. I had not eaten. I noticed that they had a chicken pot pie for $2.99. I got it. I came home and ate it, which is about 1,400 calories. And then I felt sleepy, sluggish, and I passed out. You would think I would have learned after having had, excuse me, four donuts in the course of two days. Three donuts one day and then one donut the other day. And how gross I felt. You would think after making sure that I didn't have any carbs and everything. And after I've gone and said, I don't need to eat carbs. And actually looking at the sugar content of my stuff. You'd think I would remember this. But I was like, I think I could, you know, try it. I want to see what it's like. Uh, no. I don't like it. This was my last chicken pot pie as far as I'm concerned. I don't think I'll ever be doing that again. Because I passed out and I kept passing out slash sleeping and then waking up and trying to drink my coffee and I still have my coffee. It's sitting, sitting over there. It's right behind the little jug. It's, I made it at nine in, in the morning and it, it's just going to go, it's going to go in the refrigerator. That's really what's going to happen. Which sucks. But I wanted to let you guys know what's going on. As you can tell. Bam! You see that? You see that? I'm 209.2 pounds. Now, uh, if you did read that, that's one thing that is bothering me. This coach, there's a coach at the particular one I go to. And for whatever reason, whenever I see her, I just... I've only, I've only had three interactions with her. All three, I've tried to be friendly, say, hi, how are you? Or hi. She doesn't respond. She goes, and she has like this pained look. And for whatever reason, she does not want to talk to me. She does not want to interact or interact with me. But I will notice, I've noticed her smile and not wince at others. And today when I saw her, I honestly was about to say, fuck it. I'm not going to Weight Watchers today. I'll do it tomorrow. Like that's how... That's how close I came to it because I just didn't want to deal. But then I'm like, I'm already here. It's Friday. I'm going to go. So I went. She was there. And it was just, ugh. And when I say, ugh, I mean, ugh, because she just, she did not like me. I don't know what I've done in a past life to piss her off. But her wincing every time she sees me or, and her, and her fake smile when I get my stuff. And then when I'm, you know, putting things away and I hear her talk to other people, she's like, hi, how are you? With me, I said, hi. She didn't say shit today. So I was like, okay. I like my leader, K, but I don't like, I don't like this other woman. I like the other woman that is usually there. She wasn't there today. I like K and the other woman that's usually here today. I did not like the woman I was kind of replacing the other woman because I'm like, I'm not, I can't do with her. As a result, I'm probably going to stick to Saturdays. And by Saturdays, I'm just going to go, 
at 10 a.m. and I'm just going to go to the other Weight Watchers. Or I could still go to the one that I go to. There are two meetings. There's one in East Washington and then the one that I usually go to. I like both of those, so I'm thinking I'll just pick Saturday and just go those times because this shit's for the birds. But yeah, anyway, that's not why I really am talking. The real reason I am talking is know your why. Yes, that's right. Know your why. Which is funny because in my journal, and by the way, this is actual, This is my actual weight journal. Veronica's fir first fitness goal journal. December 25th, 25, 2013. <laughs> okay, as you can tell, it's been a while. It's been a while. But I've written everything in here. Everything I've eaten. And the reason why I want to show this to you. 23 reasons I'm losing weight. I want to be healthy. To prove... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I just realized... His name was in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So, I said to prove such and such, and his girlfriend slash baby mama, who said shit about obese people wrong. When I worked at one of my old jobs, there was a guy who was thin, and his girlfriend, now wife, who was, who was thin at the time, and they were mocking the obese guest that we had. And he was like, oh, you let yourself go. How could anyone let themselves go? And I'm like... There are reasons to why people let them, uh, quote unquote, let themselves go. It's not just, oh, they're lazy. Sometimes it, it has to do with, you know, mental, mentally, you know, they could be abused and they cut me off. I'm like, no, no, you're lazy if you get that fat and blah, blah, blah. And it's gross. And she was like, yeah, it's gross, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you guys don't understand. They're like, eh, blah, blah, blah. And he's the same one who said to me, we got into this thing. I called him Shakes because he has Parkinson's. And oh, well, I know, I know, I know it's bad now. I apologize. I, I have apologized mentally for saying that. He was also an asshole, but that doesn't excuse the fact I shouldn't have called him Shakes. Just because someone has Parkinson's, you don't call him Shakes. Um, but he went and he looked at me and he was like, and you have a beard. Because we had been joking back and forth. Like, he called me fat ass. And I'd be like, you're a jerk. You shake. And he's like, you're still fat, huh? So we we had been going back and forth and joking. And I guess he was just having a shitty day. And he was like, yeah. Well, you know what? No man wants a, wants a woman with a beard or a Dunlap. You need to fix that. And he knew that I liked him. And I just remembered that for the longest time. And this happened in 2012. And I remembered it. I recently looked at, I recently, I don't know how, because I, I had deleted them both from being friends, and I happened to look them on Facebook. The girlfriend, the one who helped, you know, was making fun along with him, she's ballooned. They have, they have some children, and she has, she has ballooned. Like, she was a very thin woman, and she has ballooned to Holy shit proportions. I feel bad. But at the same time, I'm like, I'm, ho I'm hoping she's taking this as a learning experience and going, hey, you know, maybe this is why some people get obese. You know, maybe there's a reason. But I digress. Gain control over my body to get my PCOS under control. To lessen my chance of getting diabetes. To lessen my chance of my wet muscular den um so I went to 23andMe and basically they said that I carry the gene for wet, for wet mas muscular, den I can't even pronounce the last thing, but essentially from what I read, 60 year olds tend to go blind and they said that if you lose weight, the chances of you not going blind increase as well as um, eating more veggies. So that's also why I've been trying to eat more veggies because I like my I said I like seeing things and I'm already um well not now but last year I saw that my eyes were getting blurry and I couldn't see and it was really bad so I'm glad I'm at least able to see things and I'm not having issues like that and by last year I mean 2017 well no I also say 2018 because there were parts of 2018 where my eyesight was not where I wanted it to be 
to lessen the chance of me getting ovarian cancer. For those of you who don't know, my name is V, and I have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, essentially, it's being insulin, or rather being, uh, your body's kind of becoming insulin resistant. So when you have insulin, it doesn't know what to do, and it's like, whoa, hey, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. And the chances of you getting ovarian cancer, diabetes, heart attack increases. By losing weight and exercising, the chances of it, you know, decreases. Also, it makes your your hormones um, do crazy things. My andro- androgen and my testosterone are very high. Last time I had my blood work. Oh, that was part of the hair. Sorry. It was on my arm, and I was like, ah, what is that? What is that? It's spider. <laughs> and this is a little tip for everybody who's wondering. With PCOS, there are some people that are big. There are some people that are small. But some of the characteristics of having PCOS is maybe having hair on places that you usually wouldn't have hair, like your breast or your chin and neck. If you're a woman... Um, thinning of your hairline as a woman, getting fat around your stomach, being able to gain really, like, easily, but you, it's harder to lose it. Those are the things I, I saw. Also, my period, um, I've, as I've told you all before, my period would come every six to nine months, which is kind of freaky for a 10 year old. Yeah, I got my period when I was 10 and then it disappeared for a year. So I was like, what is that? I was diagnosed when I was 16, and what I'm finding out, and what I did this week, is I really limited my carbs. I looked at the stuff, and I said, okay, if I want this, that's X amount of carbs, and I have a limit of carbs that I want to do. So I started focusing more on protein. As a result of me focusing more on protein products, tuna fish, uh, uh, chicken, as I was focusing more on that and less on carbs, I found myself full. But one of the scary things I noticed is I still felt like I should eat something. And my brain was like, you know, why Why do you need to eat something? You're full. But my body was just like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It was just that feeling of like, I can't, I can't do what I used to do. So what am I going to do? And I will admit that um, yesterday or the day before I did drink a ton of water, and then I tried to puke because I felt so sick, and I couldn't. Yeah, that apparently can happen. And I think what I'm finding out is, by me now not using food as a mechanism, it's leaving me with a, well, what do I do now? Food used to be that thing that I would go to. What should I use now? And I'm trying to find a way to fill it Something productive and healthy with. Which brings me back to this. Which is why. Having a WW goal. Being healthier. Or losing weight can inspire you. But the. Can inspire you. But the why behind that goal is extra powerful. They had us go around and say. What is your goals? Why why are you doing this? Why are, are you trying to lose weight? And it's funny because I wrote that. I wrote that little thing um, a couple months ago because I wanted for myself to say, this is why I'm doing Weight Watchers or WW. I want to be healthy. I want to get my PCOS under control. I don't like having a lady beard. It's not fun. I want to have regular periods. So the chances of me getting ovarian cancer are smaller, even though I have family members who have had ovarian cancer. I still want it to be a little bit smaller versus having it be PCOS and the family members that have who have had it. That's what I'm looking at. And it's just all these different things that I'm thinking about. And it's just like, okay, I need to find out what is my reasoning for doing this. And I have my reasons. And they said, what to do? Find your why. Answer off the top of your head. Why do you want to get healthier? Dig deeper. What would that look like to you? How would your life be different? For me, it means that I have regular periods. It means that as I start to lose weight, this kind of goes away. I am noticing that this is not as 
hair years before. So I'm very happy about that. I want to continue that. That's what I want to do. I'm going to continue and make sure that this isn't as, as not as that. And then make it yours. Ask yourself, why do I want to get healthier? Take your time to answer in a specific, personal, and positive way. And then keep your whys close. So they're saying, make sure you write it down. And then what I'll do to remember my why. I can't forget my why. When I get my period, I go, there's my why. When I feel my face and I don't feel as much of the beard, I go, there's my why. The fact that I can fit my, my pants, that's my why. I look at my parents. I look at my cousins. I look at family members. And I mean, a lot of people in my family have diabetes, type 2. So that's my reasoning of why I'm doing this. This is why I'm exercising. And that is why I'm going to let you guys go because it is close to 9 o'clock. Oh, it is past 9. And I have not done a damn lick of exercising. So I'm going to try and do yoga. Not try. I'm going to do yoga. Or at least stretching so I feel like I've accomplished something. I will talk to you guys later. I'm V. I'm an asshole. I don't know what the hell this is, but um, Kanye Shrug.